this is brushless excitation system which provide the field current to the synchronous generator without using slip ring and carbon brushes as contact resistance losses will be eliminated brushless exciter system is coupled with rotor shaft here are the parts of exciter 16 pole permanent magnet exciter pmg which produce 400 hertz 220 vac supply and three phase main exciter with silicon diode rectifier Here this is main rotor shaft of alternator which is coupled to brushless exciter circuit through rotor leads no brush no slip rings now zoom this part the main exciter output is connected to a cr bridge and hollow shaft while pmg in main exciter is connected to solid shaft Now we zoom on hollow shaft. This is rotating rectifier. This is the armature of main exciter in which armature cuts the magnetic field. So it is just six pole three phase AC generator. This is permanent magnet pole so pilot exciter. This is pilot exciter stator armature whose output is connected to a VR automatic voltage regulator to maintain constant voltage by comparing PMG voltage or alternate output voltage in commands to main exciter This is the brushless exit and this is six maple permanent magnet exciter PMG which produce 400 hertz 220 vac supply and three phase main exciter with silicon diode rectifier Here this is PMG which is coupled to main exciter Wire solid shaft and main excited diodes by a hollow shaft. This is cooling fan for cooling the exciter as it is a cooled. This is full black and white diagram. This is common shaft for rotors of main exciter. PMG and for wheeling diodes. The DC output of SCR circuit is connected to field winding of rotor through main rotor leads. No brushes, no slip rings. Here is three phase output of main alternator which goes to AVR cubical wire voltage transformer or PTs which measures voltage. and pilot exciter output also comes to avr cubicle it compares two voltage values for example for 210 megawatts generator 15.75 kilovolts is set value it cannot be changed to a synchronizing condition that is same voltage from grid fails So no change in the output voltage if voltage from main alternator is more or less than 15.75 kV then pilot excited 220 V plus minus 20 V 400 Hz is converted into control DC supply to field of main exciter by a VRSCR control circuit which has set value main exciter has stationary field and rotating armature the exciter generates three phase high frequency 150 Hz AC output This output is rectified by the rotating rectifiers DC. This DC current is fed via three phase conductors to the center of the rotor shaft and carried by 
specially bear the hollow shaft area around the bearing journal which is then applied to the main generator field binding. This is the rotor assembly. The stator body houses a main stator and the exciter stator. Similarly, the rotor assembly consists of a main rotor and the exciter along with a bridge rectifier assembly mounted on a plate attached to the rotor. The exciter stator has residual magnetism present in it. When the rotor starts rotating, AC output is generated in the exciter rotor coil. This output is passed through a bridge rectifier and is converted to DC and given to the main rotor. 